Hey guys, so today I uploaded my first uh, quick little uh, programming lesson in Android if you want to do Android games in the Unity game engine. So uh, first part here uh, I want to show you is how you can create kind of like a clicker game. And this is the first part and it, with just like 18 lines of code and, and uh, some mapping, some buttons, you can basically create this thing. So. Uh, this is on my Galaxy S8, okay? Uh, so we open up this product over here. This is going to be very, very straight, easy and straightforward. Where you can create this yourself. Uh, okay, so uh, the app is launched here, here on my Galaxy S8. And basically you can tap on this button here that just says mine gold. Okay, and uh, the more I tap on it, uh, the more it has a, an U, a UI element here uh, that is being updated. So first you used to have standard text, that's uh, static text that doesn't change. Uh, but this is uh, like an integer that every time I press this button down, it uh, will up update the current uh, coins. So very, very easy, very straightforward is use the first part and to, to get your feet kind of warm if you're interested in how kind of like Android, Android programming works. So let's go over the code right now. And if you also want to have like a full uh, full step by step how you can do this in Unity, I will also have that uh, on my website. But let's go over the code to see what is behind this, okay? Okay, so let's take a look at the code that is behind this. Uh, this is the main code. So it's uh, some C sharp uh, code here, only 18 lines of code. And there are also some, some minor things like mapping of buttons that I will have, um, I have a blog post uh, about that. Uh, but uh, the general code is in here. So let's go over it. So pretty easy, straightforward. So first of all, the three first lines, uh, it's just like uh, adding, uh, you know, default functions, stuff like that, that, ne that is needed inside of Unity, um, like libraries of how to do stuff. So we have system collection, system collection, generic and Unity engine. Uh, then we have our main class here, uh, it's pretty also pretty straightforward. We have uh, our main class name, and you don't have to worry about that that much. But this is the main kind of like core uh, important thing here, uh, from public Unity engine down to uh, line seventeen. So uh, on line seven, you basically have um, we create a text element, a Unity engine UI text element, and. Um, and uh, it's called gold uh, display. So this is the element at the top that is going to update uh, the current gold. Uh, then on line eight, we basically have an integer uh, which is storing our current gold. So to keep track of our gold, how much we have, we need to have, uh, we need to store it somehow. Okay, so we start off uh, with zero gold there. That's, that's the value and gold is the name of the integer. Uh, or the variable, I think you say, okay. Uh, on line nine, uh, we basically have another integer. And this is a very important integer because th this one is called uh, gold per click. I think it's, yeah, okay. So that basically means uh, every time we push down uh, on the button, uh, we can decide how much gold we want to add. So the value we put here is one. So we're gonna add one gold every time someone push, and we're gonna add it to our first gold value, okay? So uh, on line 11, uh, we have an update function. This one is gonna look for updates, basically. It's gonna update our text up at the top. So first you can see we have the gold text, uh, the static text here. Uh, that we don't want update. We, we always want it to say gold. And then we uh, add a plus sign and then we write gold uh, for the, um, the variable that, uh, that is going to get updated with our gold, okay? And so, so that's great, okay? So we have that up, uh, update function that's gonna keep on running through. Uh, and then we need a function uh, which is gonna 
look for when we click. So this function is basically called clicked. Uh, so basically what this one is doing it that it's, it's gonna it's gonna take our gold and then every time we click down it's gonna add one one gold per click to our current gold okay so pretty pretty straightforward uh, but uh, yeah that's basically the code here that's like the only code that you need to to do this and uh, if you want to see how to map the the buttons and stuff like that then as i said i will have that on my website but uh, yeah that, that's basically use these few lines of code can basically create some pretty pretty cool stuff uh, like updated stuff uh, pretty easy so yeah uh, i'm gonna do more videos uh probably also on on future tutorials of course i want to keep it easy in the beginning so so people uh, kind of understand okay so yeah have a great day